Thanks for watching. We're setting up a system with Yamaha's new RUIO 16D. This small but clever unit interfaces 16 channels of Dante and two channels of analog in and out with USB for use with DAW software and in particular the new VST Rack plugin host. If your mixing console is equipped with Dante, either natively or with an optional interface card, you can use the RUIO 16D and a connected computer to run additional VST3 plugin effects processes, either as inserts or send and returns. And the latency is low enough to use it live for enhancing a PA system, a live stream or broadcast. In the next episode, we'll see how to connect it with a console's insert facility. For now, we'll see how to integrate it into a Dante network. If you have a standalone console with Dante inside, like a QL1, then all you need is a Cat5e or Cat6 network cable suitable for gigabit ethernet. Connect the QL1 primary Dante port to the RUIO16D primary port. There could not be a simpler way to share 16 audio channels in and out. Then connect a computer to one of the secondary ports to check and program the Dante settings. If your Dante system consists of two, three or four devices connected in a daisy chain, you can simply add the RUIO16D to one end of the chain with an additional cable. Or add it to the middle of the chain somewhere. If you have a larger Dante network, which includes network switches, then add the RUIO16D unit to a vacant port on one of the switches. If you need redundancy, you can also use the Dante secondary port, though check the device's network config before connecting that. Hopefully you already have at least a little experience with Dante, because you're going to need to use the Dante controller software to make some settings. This is free to download for Windows and Mac OS from Ordinate.com. Connect a computer to the Dante network, either to the switch or to the end of the daisy chain and launch Dante controller. Of course, check the software is using the correct network with compatible IP settings for Dante. Then you should be able to see the RUIO unit appear with 16 transmitter channels and 16 receivers. Double click on its name to open the device view, which shows a lot of additional information about the unit. In the device config tab, you can edit the unit's name and make a couple of important settings. Firstly, sample rate. This needs to match throughout the system, so it's the same for mixing console, computer, and other I.O. racks used in the setup. 48K is the most likely choice to use with Yamaha CL, QL, and other legacy mixers. Then we have Dante device latency. This determines how much time is taken for the audio to travel through the Dante network between devices. Higher latencies are more stable in large networks, though if your network is small enough, try the minimum latency of 0.25 milliseconds. This lowest latency is beneficial in live sound applications to keep the audio in sync with what is seen on stage. Next, let's take a quick look at the network config. Here we see the Dante redundancy option, which is either switched or redundant. Switched is convenient because it allows a daisy chain connection to be made without 
network switches. So both primary and secondary ports of the device can be used to link with different devices. One port for the mixing desk, the other for the computer to run Dante controller software, for example. Redundant mode is used when you create two separate networks with switches, one for all the primary ports and another for all the secondary ports. When one cable or switch fails, the other keeps the system working without interruption. It's very important to select the correct mode to match your system. Back in the network view of Dante Controller, and I want to show you the clock status. Here you can monitor all the devices in the network, and you should notice that there is one leader while all the others are followers. It's likely that the mixing desk will be the preferred leader. Certainly, if a device has enable sync to external selected, it should be the leader because that means it's synchronizing to a clock source outside of the Dante network. So it's good to keep an eye on this and make sure all the devices sync indicators are lit green. You'll want to keep Dante controller open to make the patches, especially if you're using it with a Dante MY card in the mixer. A good point about using QL or CL series mixers is that they allow Dante patching to be made from the console screen. However, it's often visually clearer to use this software. Though, if you are already using most of the mixer's Dante channels for other purposes, then consider whether you can add a Dante MY16 AUD2 card for one of the MY slots. Both QL and CL series have compatible slots, as do legacy consoles, including PM5D, M7CL, LS9, DM2000 and 1000, O2R96 and O1V96. So make a patch from some console transmitters to the RUIO 16D receivers. Then make another patch from the RUIO 16D transmitters to the console's receivers. It's neat that an MY card's 16 channels exactly matches the capacity of the RUIO 16D, so you can use the control and click shortcuts to make a complete diagonal patch. By the way, if you're still using a first generation Dante, MY16 AUD card. Do note that it does not support a daisy chain connection, but only works in redundant mode. Anyway, we have now completed our Dante network. In the next episode, I'll show you how to make the insert patching on your console and get 16 channels of audio running through the VST rack, providing massive processing power to every new mix.